Hey, what's up, guys? Sub here, the NBA every day. So today I was originally going to be talking to you guys about respect of the game, brotherhood, and all that good stuff. But today, the NBA owners, along with the players and commissioner David Stern, had a meeting today dealing the, with the lockout, and I had to tell you what happened. All right, so before I talk to you guys on what happened in the lockout, I just want to let you guys know I'm running with the Celtics. I'm versing the Knicks. If you guys watched the playoffs last year, it was Celtics versus Knicks first round. Celtics won four and zero. But there was a lot of skeptical calls played last year and you know a lot of people, especially New York fans, were very pissed because a lot of the calls should have been made according to all the fans and a lot of the players, including myself. I think there was a couple of calls that Melo got Jude in, but it doesn't matter. It was a great series and both teams played their you know, they played hard. So this gameplay basically shows you guys how versatile the Boston Celtics are defensive and offensively all right so anyways we're gonna start talking about what happened in the meeting today all right so today David Stern and all the players and all the owners of the NBA had a, over a five-hour meeting today and unfortunately it went horribly wrong guys it just did not go as planned we were lo it was looking so positive at a time I actually made a video about two months ago and you know it was looking so well you know the owners and the players were actually getting some you know progress we were actually thinking we we're gonna have an NBA season this year or at least you know a first opening day but today it just did not go the way that we wanted it to go alright so basically I want to be explaining to you how this all works so basically all the money the revenue that the NBA makes totals up to hundred percent right so basically the players of the NBA wanted 57 percent of the revenue right that's how much they made last year and you know that's an average how much they made the past 10 years they made basically 57 percent of the revenue while the owners and you know David Stern made 43 percent all right but now since there's a lockout you have to get some compromising done right and you know all the players you know they obviously realize they cannot get 57 percent again because if they do there's not going to be an NBA season all right so you know they had to lower their circumstances and they had to lower what they actually wanted and the you know owners they obviously had to raise more so they can profit more and you know they can get the NBA going back together and this is what pisses me off the NBA players they wanted 53 percent today all right they were you know they were sticking stone with it they wanted 53 percent and you know the owners just couldn't do it the owners were ready to get the NBA today 50 50 percent revenue guys even half half you know the owners had to make some sacrifices and the players should have made some sacrifices we would have had the NBA starting you know we would the NBA would have been in session you know NBA TV would have been working the rookies would come back in NBA 2k12 all that good stuff would have happened if the players just succumbed to 50 50 percent revenue guys and you know this is brings me to this topic I mean these guys you know NBA players are not working in Walmart they're not working in Kmart you know they're not working at a gas station where they're getting minimum wage and this was a stupid play this was, this was definitely a glitch alright which KG just did but anyways you know these players are not working in Walmart you know they're not getting 850 an hour these guys are getting minimum of 500 grand a year and half of these players are getting you know 500 grand a year they're not even playing look at Brian Scalabrini dude this guy Guy doesn't even get game time this guy gets you know he gets loaded with money the fans love him he's the white mama guys so I mean seriously they these guys are loaded these guys are rich if you guys check out these guys houses on MTV cribs you know these guys are so rich so why are they complaining for more money look at you know the people in Africa these guys you know can't even get water you know NBA players want more money are you serious just look for example Derek Rose guys the MVP of last year was you know he was so confused on this topic yeah he's pretty new to the NBA he was like why why are you guys gonna do this just let us play let us just you know come to an agreement so we can get the game on the road players from the NBA are leaving guys J.R. Smith Ke uh, Kevin Martin dude they're gone for this year they already signed and they can't go back they, they signed a year agreement so if they were to come back to the NBA it would be you know toward the end of the playoffs maybe you know toward the end of the season my bad beginning of the playoffs so you know they're gonna be gone the whole season if the NBA comes back and I don't want this to happen to Kobe Bryant guys I don't want this to happen to Derrick Rose I want the NBA to come back but right now they agreed the first two weeks of the NBA is cancelled guys first two weeks and this brings me to this topic some of these NBA players don't even 
you know, okay, first of all, I apologize for missing both these free throws from Ray Allen. You know, it's my first time playing with the Celtics, and holy crap, you know, you expect Ray Allen to make these free throws like that. And, you know, this is an 86% chance of making it, and, you know, I missed both of them, so I apologize on that. But anyways, some of these NBA players, right, you know, they're getting $20 million a year, and they, they're not even, you know, up to par to a, to an all-star like Rashad Lewis are you serious now yes Rashad Lewis used to be amazing guys we still love him especially you know Orlando you know I still love Rashad Lewis but for, seriously for getting 20 million a year dude for what he's doing yeah. 10 points a game with you know uh what team is he on he's with John Wall right on the Wizards so come on he does not deserve the money he's getting he can definitely you know accept a paycheck you know a pay cut I mean you know Look at, you know, Michael Red. This guy hasn't been Michael Red. You know, he's not the same Michael Red, you know, from five years ago, averaging 25 points a game, being one of the best three-point shooters in the league. You know, league. You know, he's not the same Michael Red. You know, all these players are getting so overpaid, and it just doesn't work. Show yourself, guys. If you guys want to get 20 million a year, play like you deserve to get 20 million a year, all right? So this gameplay is basically about to end, guys, and I just wanted to make my point that the NBA lockout is pissing me off, guys, and we definitely got to work, and, you know, this is for the fans, you know, and three, two, one, swish. Anyways, this is for the fans. We are the people who buy the games. We are the people who go to the games. We are the people who watch the games, you know, on our computers, on our TV. We're the people who do all this. We're the people who buy NBA 2K12. We're the people who buy the jerseys. So seriously, we are the people who want to watch the NBA. Seriously, David Stern, seriously, all the players of the NBA. Give us back what we want. Give us back what we want to play. I mean, I want to play with Jimmer Fredette. I want to play with Kemba Walker in this game. You know, I'm sure all of us want to play with these rookies. And I'm sure all of us want the NBA back. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below on the NBA first two weeks getting suspended. All right. So please comment. Please rate. Please like. Please subscribe. And please like my Facebook page. It means so much to me. Thank you guys so much. My subscriber count is going up. And I owe it all to you guys. Thank you guys so much. The NBA every day. Have a good one.